I don't know about you, but there's times where I don't want my students chatting on my post. So there's a cog up here at the top where I can change some of my settings. I can even change the name of the class if I need to edit. If my room changes, I can change my room number. Um, I can update that. It has a lot of code things that you can see, but it's this area here that I want to talk about, my stream. Um, by default, it says students can post and comment. Um, maybe I just want only the teachers to be able to post or comment, or maybe I want the students to comment, but generally that's one of the first things that I turn off when I create a new class. Um, I can see their comments and um, different assignments that I post, so I'm not so interested in them commenting on every post that I have. And sometimes it gets a little carried away. So I do turn that off, but I do allow for comments in the class and I allow for comments on their assignments and stuff. So that helps out a lot. Um, so uh, there are different choices that you can see. Their parents can join your class and maybe I want to give them a summary and maybe I don't want to give them a summary, then they will see some of that. Um, I love my Google Meet. Um, I teach in a computer lab. I teach some computer classes and some students cannot see the board. So oftentimes I have a Google Meet link so students can see my screen right from their screen and they don't have to strain their eyes to see all the way to the front of the room. Um, I have a very um, unique classroom style and I don't use grading because we have a separate grading style but you can allow students to see and then manage however you grade if you weight things by category um, and maybe you're setting up your classroom by categories maybe you want to do that so that um, work for a test might be weighted higher than a classroom project or a daily assignment however you want to do that or if I just want to do total points I can click on that um, and then I can allow them to see their grade. And so there's some settings again to get to the settings. It's this little cog at the top of your main classroom screen. And yes, I have to do that for every single class um, to change some of the settings.